Hey babes, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a fun for me type of video, which is like a Dollar Tree favorites. So I kind of feel like Dollar Tree slept on. I don't know if you can agree with me or not, but I love a good Dollar Tree run. I love going there and getting like some things that are pretty basic that I don't feel the need to spend more on that product because it's the same elsewhere just more expensive <laughs> so i'm going to show you guys just kind of a lot of products that i truly love from the dollar store and i hope that you guys end up liking them too or not even end up liking them but i hope that you find this video helpful if you were looking for some new products to try out um i have a three prong adapter which yes is from the dollar store they're the same thing they're made the same way as the ones at Walmart. Get it from the dollar store. Love those. Um, this is just a container and it does open up and this is going to have labels and then um, rolls of stamps in the little compartment right here. So these headbands, actually I'm wearing one right now. Um, this brown one was in, in a set of nude headbands that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and then I also picked these up because these are pastels and I am just I love these pastel headbands, okay? And since I've been rocking this headband wig, I really truly have been feeling myself and feeling these, okay? Um, the hair gel that I get from the dollar store, um, this one's almost gone. I need to repurchase it, but uh, I thought I could still show you. It's the Softy brand, the Indian Hemp. Almost gone, like I said. I've been using this stuff for years, literally since 2000. 10 and my hair be growing okay i'm not saying it's because of this but i am saying I, this stuff is good for your hair and it makes it real nice um i picked up these little hair spooly thingies for when i'm rocking braids these micellar facial wipes the cucumber and aloe um i stopped using baby wipes and i tried using these like eco-friendly reusable makeup wipes and i just did not like how they felt well, like, I don't like just using that to take off my makeup, I guess is what I should say. Like, it just, it feels like it's, you just need the first step. <laughs> and for me, I need a wipe. So, I picked these micellar wipes. They are a little bit more, not actually a lot more delicate on the face versus a makeup wipe I have found. So, that's just my personal opinion. These are awesome. So, I've been picking these up because they're nice and they're inexpensive. Um, these artificial nails, I am completely against acrylics. I was getting acrylics for so many years in college and they completely ruined my nails. I started picking these up. That's actually what I have on my nails right now. So I did these by myself. Just, you know. But yeah, so I like these. It takes me like no time at all. I don't have to go to a nail shop, so I don't spend the money, which is nice. And I don't always want to have nails on anyway, so I can switch it up whenever I feel like it's warranted. Now, this is like the best kept secret of Dollar Tree, I swear, as far as feminine products goes. It is this Assured brand feminine foaming wash in creamy coconut. Guys, now I know you're not supposed, it's not healthy to like use a douche or to put feminine products in you know up yourself that is not healthy but you can use it around it this is good this is like all natural it contains no harsh chemicals um so you, it doesn't throw off your ph balance i actually found that this balanced my ph so pick this up if you don't pick up anything else from this entire haul okay i'm trying to but yeah and then it's in the scent creamy coconut because i'm like island girl so I like anything that smells like I just came off the beach. Um, this is just shower cap. This is a pineapple one. I mean, they have a bunch of different styles. I just pick them up whenever I need them, so, you know. Um, my fiance, this is the type of toothbrush he likes, so we, I do pick those up there. This is the Colgate Extra Clean type. He doesn't like the mechanical type like I do, like my Spin Brush Pro. So nice. Like, ever since I got that at Christmas from my mint laws that thing is so nice guys so uh but ty likes these you know toothbrushes he's just a real simple man so 
Um, <clears throat> I've been, I was using an all natural deodorant and then when I ran out, I needed to replenish and I didn't go back and get that one yet. So I did just pick up this Lady Speed Stick from Dollar Tree. It smells really good. We do, um, I do also typically pick up our little spoolies from the Dollar Tree as well. I mean, I figure they're manufactured the same way as the ones from anywhere else are. And so, I mean, we get these, we change these out every month. So we're, we're really like strict on ourselves about that. I just think it's gross um, to keep this type of thing for a long time. You just think about the bacteria that grows on it when it's just sitting in the shower, when you're not using it when you are using it like it's just gross when you really think about it so i think at minimum you should be changing them every month okay um foot care thing a little petty scratcher thing i like to do this when i'm in the shower it's just convenient keep your feet fresh i do my own pedicures at home as well as my nails so i do just like to have good tools in this um is super super nice and I have to do that. <clears throat> down to the last couple of beauty products I'm sorry um, I forgot to show you these these buckets these are another style of buckets that I do use ignore the fact that it's got some kind of dust on it right now I'm gonna wipe this off but it was rolling around in the back of the car so that's my bad but um, it's just that same kind of peachy color as well so super cute i've got some things i'm going to use this for as well so something that i can't live without is this vitamin e cream it's the fruit of the earth brand this is part of my skincare i cannot live without this i especially living in utah now i have to i have to like triple moisturize compared to what i used to have to do living in kansas and even living in arkansas so this is definitely one of my favorite products in the world and i actually have not found a dollar tree that sells it here in utah so this is my last jar of it and I thankfully came to Utah with like three so this is my last one so I've got to find either a supplement for this or go to Walmart and see if they have something like this and pick it up because this is so part of my skincare that's not even funny like I fly through these I put this on in the mornings and at night it's vitamin E cream it's just softer healthier youth, youth like skin um, and then this is just that Palmer's Coconut Oil Body Lotion little bottle. I like to just pick these up. Good for travel. Now these face masks are my favorite. I have sensitive skin, which is why I do the all natural thing. I just got so tired of putting all those parabens and carcinogens and bullshit in my skin because it really was ruining my skin. Like I'm only 27 and I was starting to feel like I was starting to age quicker because I had so much shit in my skin. So when I went all natural, I like, I tried to use things that, if it's not all natural, that are like for sensitive skin. So these are the Aveeno Clear Complexion per Purely Matte Face Masks. Now these are peel-off masks. These are officially part of my skincare care routine. Um, I had a lot more than this, but this is what I'm down to because I am like religiously every week doing one of these. And I make my fiance eat them as well. They're just good for our skin. Um, they make it feel really nice and healthy. You can see the blackheads, the, um, the, the pimples, the skin, the hairs, the random hairs um, that it pulls up when you pull this off. Like these are so nice. So if you need a new skincare mask, I definitely say pick these up. My last skincare product is this creme, creme de skin nutrients double strength retinol night pair serum. I was kind of hesitant on trying this out, but it is paraben free and phytolate free, so it doesn't have a bunch of fake shit in it. Um, it's a carefully formulated blend of ingredients to address the most common concerns of aging to support the skin's natural exfoliation process. Helps unclog pores, helps fine lines and wrinkles, helps um, just give like a really powerful result. So I've been using this for a while now too, and this is so nice to be part of my skincare routine, like I said. Routine, like I said, um, my skin really took a hard toll moving to Utah. My skin and my hair, I had a lot of my hair break off moving to Utah. I never lived somewhere so cold. Um, I had my skin just going through it at all times. So this has been crucial in my skincare and I'm so glad that literally I can get it for a dollar. And it's like a big bottle. It is one ounce. So 
it will last me 12 months or it's good for 12 months before it will expire so to the household goods um i'll first start out we like we we <laughs> We really like candles and so we do buy nice expensive yankee candles woodwick candles like we have certain brands that we just like myself and my fiance but we do like to pick these up at dollar tree as well because they do have some that smell pretty good some of them you can't smell anything not gonna lie to you some of them you can and i like this driftwood and sea salt and this berry bread pudding these two are so cute and they smell so good. I wish you could sniff them. Um, planner. This fits in my purse. So I typically write things for like YouTube when I was in college. Um, I had a different planner, but this is just what I use for now because I don't have college stuff to worry about. So um, then I also pick up picture frames from there. These are four by sixes, which most of our pictures that we keep in our home are. So that's just like a standard size for us. Here is an example. Here is a picture of me and my fiance and our pup, little Lily. So we like picking the picture frames up from there because they're pretty inexpensive. Um, pretty inexpensive. They're a dollar. I'm sorry. I keep saying inexpensive. They're a dollar. Let me shut up. Um, the Super Blue Jam scrub thingies for cleaning. I do like to swap these out relatively. Uh, what's the word? Soon. Uh, <laughs> Scrub Buddies, these are just sponges. I can pick these up from the dollar store, like I said. I mean, it's just, why not? Um, I do have a couple of these. I have one that holds all, all camera equipment and things for me for like vlogging and stuff. And then this one, which is just household stuff. Household like things to replenish when they run out. Like, so we keep like extra trash bags in there. That's not from the dollar store, but um, extra batteries, things like that. These are from the dollar store. These are for a DIY I plan on doing. They're just house like clamps, jumbo clamps. So obsessed with the fact that I can pick these up from the Dollar Tree because at Walmart these piss me off with how expensive they are. I'm like, it's a freaking little piece of plastic. Why is it so expensive? So I love that. Batteries. I like to pick those up because some of my lights need batteries. And some random things need batteries. I don't know. And then just nails to repair things around the house. Forgot one thing that I wanted to show you that I do pick up from the dollar store as well. Um, it's just a makeup organizer, Majiga. I don't really know what to call it, but it's just a makeup organizer. So it looks like this, and this holds all of my makeup. I do practice minimalism, so this is all of my makeup, except for the three palettes that I also own. So love these. But anyways, thanks again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. I'm no Cinderella, but I like the shoes. Big glass platforms, bitch, I'm choosy. Long blue hair, blue as a bruise. Only trust a fella for some life.